How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're having a battle versus the Captain Falcon from the Discord server in the underused tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi right now. There's a link in the description down below. And friendly reminder to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 20k by the end of the year and I'd love for you to be a part of that journey. Looking at their team though, they got a Breloom, Flygon, Sizzle, Jolteon, Excadrill and a Swampert. Pretty powerful stuff. It looks like Ogre Pong could put some work in if we can get rid of that Scizor. Um, definitely put some work in. We'd have to worry about the sand with the Excadrill. Um, I think Sliverwing could put some work in as well. I I'm leaning towards leading with Sliverwing. I feel like they lead with Jolteon or something along those lines. So I might I might actually be better off leading with um, Latios. I think I will lead with Latios and then we can just flip turn if it's an unfavorable matchup. But it pairs up really well against their team. So I think that's the way I want to go. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Falcon. So they're gonna lead off with Scizor as we led off with good old Latio. So not the worst match ever. It's not the best either. We can't really touch it because you don't get Mystical Fire on this thing anymore. Um, so I'm gonna flip turn on it straight away. There's no way it's a Choice Scarf Scizor that's gonna outspeed my Latios right now, is there? Is, is there any chance? Is Choice Scarf Scizor a thing? Am I being dumb? I could be. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if they just threw that out at me, but no, it's not. So flip turn comes through. Get a bit of chip damage off on the scissor, break a potential sash, not that they're usually sashed, um, but still, regardless, we're in a better position. So what do I go into here? I'm, I'm leaning towards the Don fan for the Rocky Helmet chip, so I think I will go into that. They may go for a Swords Dance, I doubt it. I think they're more likely to go for a U-turn here. So they do go for a knockoff, knocking off our Rocky Helmet, but we do get some Rocky Helmet chip on them as well, which is great. And so Rocky Helmet is gone, but it's fine. We can go for our own knockoff right now. It'll hit anything on the team pretty well. So let's go for a knockoff, get rid of their item. They go for a U-turn. It's going to do a bit of damage to my Don fan. Not too bad, though. Not too bad damage. As uh, we can now go for a knockoff on whatever they bring in, which is going to be really useful. Um, unless they're like... Ugh, I can't remember what the team is now. I didn't take a picture. I'm going to take a picture in a second. Swampert. Swampert's coming in. So Swampert is here. We're going to get rid of this nice and powerful item, which is going to be the, bum, ba, da, da, what is it? Leftovers. So, Leftovers variant. So, we can expect to have Stealth Rocks, maybe. So, I'm just going to take a picture of the team real quick. So, I want to switch out to Ogre Pond, but I feel like they go for a flip turn anyway. Um, so, what I'm going to do instead is I am, I'm, I could go Latios. Now, I think Ogre Pond's just as viable. Like, both Latios and Ogre Pond can get hit by an Ice Punch here. But I'm going to risk it for a Chocolate Biscuit, and I'm going to switch into Ogre Pond anyway. I think it's still a really good switch. It's probably really obvious, but it is what it is. They go for a Flip Turn, so I'd rather that than an Avalanche or an Ice Punch. So that's great for us. Swampert's going to go back to them. Um, and they pretty much have to go in Sizzle right now, right? Flygon. That's an interesting choice. So Flygon comes in nice and shiny. you got to love it. I feel like I haven't seen Flygon in ages. So we know this thing's probably going to be Scarfed. Or outspeeders in some way. Or it could be Dragon Dance. I think I'll U-turn. Because I have U-turn on this Ogre Pond. They go first impression. Am I the only one that completely forgot Flygon got first impression? <laughs> I completely forgot. It's, li it's Life Orb as well. Which is good to know. So. Okay. So we know that it can't go for a first impression again. So we can go into Latios and just drop a Draco right now. Which would be great. I misclicked and went for Empoleon. It's not, too, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We can do something here. So they're probably going to switch out. They're probably going to expect a Terra here, by the way I've brought it in. And they're probably bringing the Swampert, if I had to guess. So I am going to go straight for the safe Ice Beam here. They go for a U-turn as expected. So yeah, they're going to expect the Terra. So thanks to Terrestrialization, my little misplay there of going into Empoleon instead of my Latios is going to work out nicely for us because it bluffed the Terrestrialization. So that's fine. It pays off. <laughs> Focus, Jack. I, I swear, I moved the button and it just didn't work. Jolteon comes in, so that's fine. We get some damage off on the Jolteon. It's nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. We get a nice powerful Ice Beam off. And it does nearly half, which is great. So we could take a hit because we are Assault Vest. But I don't want to take a hit. I want to go straight into Donphan or Probo Pass. Leaning more towards Probo Pass, but I don't want to lose the uh, Air Balloon just yet. Um, they could Terrestrialize. And if they do Terrestrialize, we lose our Donphan. But I still think we can pull this back. I, I, I think we just go straight into Donphan here. I know it's pretty obvious that we're going to do it. But I'm going to make the play anyway. Because I think that they've probably seen that in Podium play and think, wait, what's going on here? Why is he playing like this? This is weird. So I think they go for a Volt Switch here. Yeah, they do. All right, cool. Volt Switch comes through. Um, now we can probably expect a Terra. So 
I'm going to make a double switch, because that's what singles is all about, switching. If we assume they're going to either go Terra or Flygon, one of the two. They're normally uh, specs, aren't they? What if we go for a knockoff? I'm going to be ballsy and go for a knockoff. They, they terrestrialize. So we lose our Dom fam, but like, at least they've terrestrialized now. So we know they can't terrestrialize anything else. Terra Ice. So they go for the Terra Ice. Um, as that's going to definitely KO my uh, Don fan over here. So we're playing a bit poorly. You can tell I've been playing doubles too much. Terra Blast is coming from... Damn. Terra Blast came through. I don't know why I paused them for a second. My, I think my, bait, my my camera just stopped working randomly. So I'm, I'm a bit bummed out now. <laughs> so this is a no phase cam one. Um, right. So we, we know that they're, they're not choiced. I think we go into Sliverwing. I think Sliverwing can really do some work here. Let's go to Sliverwing real quick. There we go. Sliverwing comes through. Booster Energy activates, which is great. And then we just go straight for a first impression, right? Because what are they going to do here? We first impression, they get KO'd. Or do they go into their Extra Drill or their Scizor? I'm leaning towards the Extra Drill slash Scizor. I think that's what they do. So I'm going to go for a close combat. I am going to go for a close combat. I don't think I don't think they let the Jolteon go down to a first impression here. I really don't. They do withdraw the Jolteon, which is great. We get the Jolteon switch. And they're going to go into Breloom, who is going to definitely not appreciate this close combat. It wouldn't have appreciated the first impression, to be fair. But close combat comes through. Cleanly takes it down to its Sash, which is amazing. But what can Breloom do to us in return? It can't really do much. I mean, if it's going to get a defense drop and everything, it's like fine. Um, I think we go for a Leech Life here. I'm going to go for the Leech Life. I think Sliverwing can do this for us. They go for a Mock Punch to get some damage off, which is great and all. But we're going to get a little bit of health back as well from that. It's only going to be like 1 HP. We get a crit. We get 1 HP and we get a crit. Nice. Good timing with a crit. So we get a Leech Life off. We KO the Breloom. We finally KO'd one of our teams. This is why Captain Falcon is now a battle veteran in the Discord server because he's a really good battler. So the Jolteon comes in. That thing definitely threatens me. We definitely want to re replenish our first impression, that's for sure. I think the best Pokemon to go into is going to be... I think they expect Latios and go for a Terra Blast. I'm going to go Probo Pass. I think Probo Pass handles Jolteon pretty well. Because we are especially defensive. So, let's go into Nosy over here. Nosy Parker. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And we float in the over air bloom. That's about to be popped as they go for a Terra Blast, expecting the Latios to come in more than likely. So, there we go. Terra Blast comes through. No damage. No damage. Which is great. And I'm glad Terra Blast Ice doesn't have a chance to freeze because that would just be broken. So, right, they are Life Orb as well. That's uh, good to remember that. I need to remember that. So, what do we, they go into here? Probably the Swamp Pit, right? So, I think I go for a Stealth Rocks. They definitely Volt Switch in Swamp Pit here. So, they go for a Volt Switch, which is going to do minimal damage to my Probo Pass. They get some Life Orb Recoil as well. And then we get a nice and clean Stealth Rocks up, which is always nice. So, let's see how this plays out real quick. Swampert comes in. So Swampert is in. Which is great and all. We go for a Stealth Rocks, which is great. We're getting them up. That's that's going to be good. Because it's going to really hurt that Jolteon. Considering it's Life Orb. And it also forces them to go for a Rapid Spin with the... Uh, what do you call it? So, I think the Pokemon to go into here is going to be the Sliverwing. Or the or the, uh, the Latios. I think Latios is a good one. I think they go for a Flip Turn for, for sure. So I am going to go Sliverwing. I think Sliverwing is the best play, so let's do it. Let's just do it. We did lose our booster energy, which is unfortunate. So Sliverus is going to come in. Like so. I really like Sliverwing. So they go for their own Stealth Rocks, which is really good for us. It means no damage. Um, we can just go straight for a first impression here, or we can go for a CC. I'm leaning towards the CC. I'm also leaning towards the Leech Life. I think I'll go with the Leech Life play, because they more than likely um, flip turn, which they looks like they have. So we're going to get some health back from the Swampert, which is great. Pretty much all the health back, which is amazing. They go for a flip turn, which is going to basically bring it back down to that. Oh, wow. It does a bit more damage than I thought it would. Sliverwing's not exactly the bulkiest Pokemon in the world, mind you. Definitely not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. So, let's see how this plays out. Flygon comes through. So, Flygon is here. We know what this Flygon wants to do. It wants to just attack us, and it wants to get some damage off. Um, for real. So, I am going to go for a close combat here. Um, just because I haven't really got a switch in. So I'm going to go for the close combat right now. And um, they do go for a Dragon Claw, which is definitely going to take us out. It does take us out. 
I suppose I could have kept slithering around for the first impression. It would have come in handy, but it doesn't really matter now. Um, because basically, we have to go in. We, we could go into U.S. Terra that water, though. Why am I Terra water on that? It should be Terra flying. I want a Terra flying. Let's go Latios. Latios can handle this, no problem. So there we go. Latios is going to come in. I made some really weird plays this game, but you know what? It's whatever. It's all, all in good fun. It's not about winning. It's about having fun. So, do I drop a Draco or do I Luster Purge? I think I drop a Draco here. I think I definitely drop a Draco here. Because they prob they might expect us to predict the Scizor switch and go for a flip turn. They don't. They switch out the Flygon. Are they going to go Scizor or Excadrill? One of the two. Swampert. Interesting choice because it's not going to appreciate a Draco Meteor right now. Definitely not going to appreciate a Draco Meteor. So, Draco Meteor does not come through. It misses. Which is actually a good thing because it means now we've, we didn't get the special attack drop. Which means we can go for a Luster Purge now. So, that miss actually plays in our favor a little bit because now we can keep our special attack and remain a threat. So, we swamp it out of the way. We got Excadrill, we got Jolteon, we got Scizor, and we got Flygon to deal with. I think they bring in Jolteon right now to tear our last Isos. Excadrill comes in. So, Excadrill makes a lot of sense. It's a full elf. It can take any hit. It can go for a rapid spin and all that stuff. It gets the Mole Break, so we can't even tear a steel to avoid the Earthquake. Um, and they have the Air Balloon as well. So, what do we do here? If we assume they're going to rapid spin. We should go in something like... We can't really switch out. We have to go for a Draco Meteor here, pretty much. Um, so there's no point terroring. So I'm going to drop a Draco on his face. That's pretty much what I have to do. So Draco Meteor comes through. Clean 50% to the Excadrill, which is nice. Uh, better damage than I thought it would do. Pop the Air Balloon, which doesn't really matter. As they go for a Rapid Spin. So that's unfortunately means they're going to outspeed us the next turn. Um, but the stones do disappear from around their feet, which is unfortunate. So let's go for a Draco once again. They go for an Iron Head, interestingly enough, which they should have gone for an Earthquake there, but it flinches us, so it doesn't matter. That's unfortunate. So Excadrill is going to come through right now, and it's going to destroy our life, pretty much. So I, I made some bad plays this game. I definitely made some bad plays. Um, I made some misplays as well, like that, that whole thing where I was meant to switch in the Latios and then switch in the Empoleon. That one didn't matter too much because they did end up U-turning, but um, I think my opponent played really well this game. Um, so I can't really say anything. We can still Terra though. Problem is I haven't got anything that can hit them. I can go Terra Water on Empoleon. And that'll make us not weak to the Earthquake, at least. Um, which could actually work in our favor pretty well. So I think we do that, we Terra, and then we Surf. I think that is the way to go about it. We want to take this extra drill down at least, right? So we can take an Earthquake, no problem. We should be able to take an Earthquake, no problem. And then we can go for a Terra Water Surf. If it's Terra Flying, it'd be so much better. It'd be so much better. We could be immune to this Earthquake right now. Not take any damage. They go for an EQ. Well, that's going to do a lot of damage, but it won't take us out. Definitely won't take us out. We go for a Surf. Like so. Boom. Excadrill goes down. I can't believe I forgot to change the terror on this Empoleon to flying. I'm such a noob. <laughs> Alright, so the Excadrill is down. But that leaves the problem with the Jolteon. The Jolteon can come in now and it can definitely take us out. We are Assault Vest, but I don't think that's going to matter. Because the Jolteon is Life Orb, so it's going to do a bit too much damage. But Jolteon comes in and the Stealth Rocks aren't there, which would have taken it out. We go for a Flash Cannon here. They go for a Volt Switch, which is going to definitely take us out, obviously. Probo Pass could do something here if, it, if they bring the Scizor in. No, because Scizor's going to have close combat, no doubt. We'll no doubt have close combat. We'll see what they go into. They probably just go into the Flygon, though, because we have Probo Pass left, and that's it. I think that's what they have to do. I think. So they go Scizor. Interesting choice. It still handles my Probo Pass just as well, so I can't really fault them. So Probo Pass is going to come in now. Good old nosy. There we go. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Nice and shiny. So, now what we need to do is we need to go for a Power Gem just in case they don't take us out with a knockoff. As knockoff is going to do nothing, we get the Power Gem off, which is great. No damage. Oh, wow. Power gem, no damage. They go for a bullet punch here, surely. Bullet punch will take us out. Yeah, there we go. Bullet punch comes through. Oh, we lived on one HP. If we get a crit power gem here, that'll be clutch. Nah, it wouldn't even it wouldn't have mattered anyway. 
<laughs> Let's go for a power gem again. Bullet punch comes through. That's gonna take us out. And that's gonna be the game. So GG Captain Falcon. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed it. I did make some misplays. You can definitely tell I've been out of the singles game for a little while, that's for sure. But you don't it's kinda like riding a bike. You don't lose it. You just kinda get a bit rusty, that's all. So um anyway. Thanks for helping me scrape the rust off a little bit. GG, of course. But anyway, here's the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at Torai Corner screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.